In today's video, we are talking about how to use the Baby Brezza sterilizer dryer, and also we're testing it for the very first time. Let's talk about the components of this Baby Brezza sterilizer dryer. The first top part is the lid, which we can go ahead and take off. The second part right here is the accessory rack. This is the upper post. These are the, this whole thing is the accessory rack. Right down here, these are the lower posts. And go ahead and take those out. Inside the Baby Brezza, we have the metal heating plate or the stainless steel heater plate. We have the sterilizer base, which is this whole thing with the LCD control panel right down here. We've got a fan, little squiggly lines, which represent sterilized power button, a couple of squiggly lines and the fan. So this is basically an automatic thing right here. Inside here, there is a fill line. There's supposed to be a fill line somewhere, 120 milliliters. It looks like it just covers up the base. So whenever you're filling this thing up, you want to just Go up to this, there's a little notch thing right here. That's as high as you want to go for filling up this Baby Brezza sterilizer dryer. On the very bottom of this, you have a filter. Uh, this can be taken out and cleaned. You should do this monthly, according to the manual. You have to use a little screwdriver to get those open. Also, before you sterilize your bottles, you also need to clean the bottles. We have clean Baby Brezza bottles here. In full disclosure, I do want to say that Baby Brezza did send us this to review and look at how to use this. So we did receive this for free. Thank you, Baby Brezza, for doing that. But as you know, in my past videos, we really do enjoy the Baby Brezza products. Let's start off by first adding water. We're going to add this to just that max fill line right about there. We're going to go ahead and set the accessory rack here uh, let's see looks like maybe that just sits in there let's just do that uh, these baby brezza bottles were also provided to us this right up here just like that I, I really don't know how to put this in but let's just do it and assume that i know what i'm doing here here okay well it's not going to spin or anything like that so you don't have to worry about that i have this lid over here this is going to be interesting to see how well this thing works. I'm really kind of curious to see if it will work. It does say that you can clean this accessory rack. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher, but you can hand clean it. Probably rinse it off and stuff like that. So when you put this lid on, there's an arrow right here on the front, and there's an arrow right down there. You want to line those arrows up and put this thing on. Make sure it closes. So it is closed and sealed all the way. I will go ahead and plug this in. And it just made a beeping sound when I plugged it in. This is literally gonna have boiling water in it. I'm gonna turn the power on and it's showing me like a timer readout right down here at the bottom. I can do dry only, but these are still dry. These are already dry. I could do sterilize only, or I could do sterilize and dry. And so that's what I'm going to do here. And then I'll test out some of the other features. So if I push sterilize and dry once, it goes 45 minutes. If I press it a second time, 60 minutes. And third time is 30 minutes. 45, 60, 30. I don't know why it starts in the middle. If I want to just dry it, I push the button for fan once for 30 minutes, twice for 45, third time for 60. If I want to sterilize, just push that button and it'll start. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and hit this automatically sterilize and dry button. Now I do want to say we're going to start at 45 minutes. It is starting to boil the water from the heating plate right now. We're going to come back in a few minutes and see what this thing's doing. We should start seeing steam at some point come out the top of this unit. There are five holes in the top of the unit that should allow the steam to escape. Once the sterilization started, we started seeing count up. And so it's counting up. So it's been sterilizing for one minute, 21 seconds. I'm starting to hear the boiling from this unit. Don't know if you can hear that. The boiling is starting to cause the steam. I'm starting to feel a little heat at the top of these holes. We'll start seeing that steam rise pretty soon. This thing has been sterilizing the bottles for five minutes, 10 seconds right now. And as you can see, this whole thing is filled up with little droplets of water and you can't see the bottles or anything at this point. There is steam rising and it is pretty hot from the top right now. Much like, like a vegetable steamer, this Baby Brezza sterilizer dryer is supposed to be BPA free from what I understand. And the bottles, the Baby Brezza bottles are definitely BPA free. Like most baby products now are going to be BPA free. Quick word of caution is you want to be sure not to move this unit when it is in the process of heating or cooling or drying your bottles because there is very hot liquid in here. The water is literally boiling inside and there is a possibility of scalding. And this lid does not latch on. 
So if you bump it, the lid can fall off and it can just release a bunch of steam, which will scald you and cause burns on your skin or your child's skin. So be sure to keep your children away from using this unit as well. Look, a lot of these water droplets are starting to subside. It's been going for 11 minutes. Now, from what I understand is whenever this is done sterilizing the bottles, it will beep at me. Then it will start the drying process, which I'm curious to see how that goes. We've been going for 12 minutes, 32 seconds so far. So we've been going for 13 minutes, 24 seconds right now. So when the fan starts on this, instead of counting up like it's doing right now, it will start counting down. Okay, it just clicked. So I think another setting's about to start. 14 minutes even right now. The fan just started. It did not beep at me or anything like that. The fan is blowing and it is blowing steam out the top. It's blowing everything that was in here out. If the fan's blowing this, you're gonna start seeing a clear image here of the bottles probably pretty soon. I'm starting to see it. You're gonna see that subside. So how about I just put this in fast forward for you. Now once your baby Brezza sterilizer dryer has done the job, you can take the lid off. You can take the accessory rack out. Be careful because some of the stuff will try to fall off on you. And this rack can now be a holder for your baby bottles and accessories. We'll see you in this video right over here, which is the Baby Brezza Smart Bottle Warmer. This will warm a bottle quickly and it will warm a bottle slowly and steadily and not cause a problem with the nutrients from your formula. See you next time, right over there.